Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today they released the new Team of the Week content, and so not very happy about any of this. Like, I'm not going to be going after them, really. I opened up uh, two packs, and they got what I wanted, so it was. <laughs> I'm just going to stop at that. So uh, you got the Week 15 Offensive Hero, which is Antonio Brown, 94 overall, and the Defensive Hero is 94 overall, JPP. Uh, JPP is Mandy and Run Stuff style. And Antonio Brown is short pass and long pass style. So we'll get into the offensive first. Uh, first up, uh, just for reference, this is 455 on Monday. Just for reference on the prices because they might not be the same as when you see this video. So just to let you know. But first we're going to go over Harry Douglas, who had a very nice game. Uh, he is an 85 overall, 8K coins at the moment. Uh, 6 foot, uh, plus 6 to speed run chem. Uh, let's see, notable stats, he's got 93 agility, or 94 agility, 93 speed, 95 excel, so that's nice, uh, 90 catching, 82 awareness, 76 carrying, 91 jumping, 82 elusiveness, 93 stiff arm, and 95 juke moves, so that's nice, or not, not, sp not stiff arm, spin move, sorry, can't talk, um, and then uh, 90 spec catch, 84 catch in traffic, and not the greatest, but a decent 83 route running. Uh, his release is pretty poor at 74, but if you're in need of a receiver, you're a Falcons fan, go ahead and pick him up. He's not too bad. He'll be probably like dirt cheap by the end of the week, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And then RG3 is the next, who really honestly didn't have that good of a game. Uh, 18, Like, look at that. 18 completions for 236 and a touchdown. All right. Thanks, bro, for buying that out. All right. <laughs> And then he had 46 rushing yards. Like, Derek Anderson had a better game. Pretty much any quarterback almost had a better game this weekend than RG3. So I really don't get why he got a card. I really don't get it. Uh, but I'm really interested to see his carrying. He gets plus 8 to short pass. Uh, 92 agility, 92 speed, 89 excel. His carrying is 76. Are you kidding me? 76? Should be like a 50 something. He even fumbled in the game. What are, like what is what is this? EA, what is it with this card? Like, were you guys just sitting there with a big old boner waiting to release an RG3 card with 92 speed that you just had to do it as soon as he got in the game? Because this wasn't even a good week. Like if someone can give me a logical explanation on why they put him in the game, I would I would appreciate that. But his throw power is 95. 94 jumping, so you can hurdle people. Um, 80 elusiveness, 90 ball carry vision, 91 spin, 86 juke. Uh, anything else important here? 97 stamina, so you can run his ass to the ground every game. So that's just wonderful. Uh, 90 throw short, 87 throw mid, 76 throw deep, 90 throw on the run, and 80 play action. I can already see the cheese coming. It's going to happen to me like every game because, you know, I got to go play online here after I finish up all these solos. EA just wanted to screw me over, cause that's I know how they roll. I know that's how they want to do stuff. But the next was Jeremy Hill, who was an 86 overall. Didn't have two. Well, actually, he did get some. I, when I was watching the game, I stopped watching it when he had like 96 yards. So he tacked on another 52 after I stopped watching, uh, and then he had two touchdowns. So I, I do get why they gave him a card, even if he would have had 96 yards and two touchdowns. But he had a nice game. Uh, some notable strats, uh, 92 speed, 93 excel, 75 catching, all right, that's nice, 94 carrying, that's good, so he's not going to put the ball on the ground uh, as much as some, 95 trucking, that's nice, I might have to pick him up just to run him as a fun back, because by the end of the week, he should be pretty cheap, uh, 94 spin, 92 stiff arm, 88 juke, so he can do all the different moves pretty well, not a great pass blocker, keep that in mind, uh, 95 injury, 94 stamina, He's got some decent catching stats, not amazing, but if you can get him for a cheap price under 10k, he might be a good back to take a look at. Uh, Greg Olson is the next one going for 357k. Oh me, hell oh my. It, you know what I hate about this is like, like people want to use these cards, these elite team of the weeks, but they make no sense to buy because they're always way too expensive. They did well, not well, but they did all right um, with the Sherman and the Megatron making the collectible kind of rare, but that's what they need to do with these. 
so that people are able to actually use these because there's been a Rob Ninkovic that came out and a LeGarrette Blunt, and they were both the stupid elite for the hero card, so I couldn't get them because it would have been pointless. They'll spend like 200k on LeGarrette Blunt and like 290 on Ninkovic whenever that was like. That's just annoying. Like, I want those cards, but I'm not paying a ridiculous amount for them. So, any Panthers fans really don't get a shot at this card because it doesn't make sense to buy it. But he's 91 overall. He's got long pass, Cam. Uh, he's got 90 speed, 91 excel, nice, 92 catching, 77 carry, uh, 90 jumping. What, what was he for the week? I didn't have a touchdown? I oh, thought he had a touchdown. Uh, he's got kind of balanced all the way through here, as you can see. He's decent at run blocking and pass blocking. Nothing amazing, but he's above average, I think, for tight Yeah, he's above average for tight ends, especially with the pass block footwork. Let's get down here to the other catching stats. 93 spec catch, 91 catch in traffic, and 82 route running. It's pretty good. Uh, he's got 92 release, which is very nice. Uh, so all in all, a good card, but for the price he's going to end up being, it's definitely not going to be worth it to get him. Uh, and then you got the Antonio Brown, the big catch collectible, which should be, yeah, it's already at 18K, and these think Kings came out like six hours ago or four hours ago or something like that. Uh, so we'll take a look at the Antonio Brown after I take a look at all of the defensive ones for the JPP. So first, uh, got Timmy Jernigan. Wow, there's only one up for 10 mil. Um, but there are his uh, stats, but he gets plus seven to pass rush style. He's got 91 strength, 88 excel, 75 speed, not bad. Oh, none of that matters. 90 tackling, 81 jumping, so you could swat some balls because that's real, That's above average, so you can swat some balls with him. 90 power move, 64 finesse, 92 block shed, 88 pursuit. Uh, 90 injury, a low 85 stamina, but still above average. Uh, hit power is an 80. So not, not a bad card. Timmy Jernigan could be usable. Obviously, there's going to be more up on the auction block. I bought Bakari Rambo. No, I didn't buy I pulled Bakari Rambo. So I'll show you guys that card after we get done showing Kendrick Lewis and the other ones. Uh, so Kendrick Lewis is, I mean, it's 14K right now. Uh, he gives plus 7 to Mandy Chem. Uh, 87 agility, 91 speed, 92 excel. Um, 72 catching, not awful. 82 tackling, pretty good. Uh, 91 jumping. I got spin and juke move decent, so I guess if you want him to return kicks or when he returns interceptions, he'll have some good moves if you, for you to use. He's got 72 block shed, 83 pursuit, 78 player X, 76 man, 85 zone, 90 injury, 93 stamina, 80 spec catch, hmm, 63 catch in traffic, 93 hit power, which is nice. Uh, 81 press, which is pretty good for a safety. Uh, so that is Kendrick Lewis. So let's take a look at the Akib Talib, which I really want, but probably won't end up getting him because he's going to be super expensive. Since I have the other Akib Talib, we can stack them up and see what stats went up. So let's take a look at the Akib Talib. Uh, we'll go over into here, but you can see he's up three in speed, up two in acceleration, plus one in awareness, plus two in agility, up six in man coverage. Up three in zone, uh, up two in press, and up three in play rack. So definitely a card that I'm interested in getting, but probably won't end up getting him. I want the Byron Maxwell from last week as well, but he's pretty expensive too. So I'm, I'm kind of like in this conundrum of corners. I think I'm just going to wait till I get Mutt Master, sell off that um, Sherman, and get Woodson or Asante Samuel or... Uh, that D'Angelo Hall mystery, and one of those cards, uh, just card that I want, even though Sherman will be better, but take a look at those. Um, so we'll go through here. We'll got putting out some notable stats. 79 catching, which is up two from his original card. Jumping went up one to a 96. We don't need to look at any of that different stuff. Block shed went up from a 56 to a 73. All right, so you can, he can be a blitzing safety or corner. Uh, Pursuit went up 6, so that's nice. I uh, already went over all that stuff. His stamina went up to a 97. His injury should not be as high as a 90, because that this bitch is getting hurt all the time. All the damn time. He always gets, He's always hurt in important games, uh, like the last two AFC Championship games for the Patriots that he got hurt in. But I'm going to move on past that. 
Uh, his hit power went up 11 from a 67 to a 78. So there are some hidden stats in here that are nice. Um, the hit power is nice going up 11, but probably going to be pretty damn expensive, even though JPP isn't like a highly sought after card. We'll see what his stats are if there's one up, but his strip sack's already down to 6k, so his collectible is not going to be worth crap. But let's go take a look at Picario Rambo, and then we'll take a look at JPP and Antonio Brown. So, nope, I click sets. Well, crap. Uh, da, da, da. Hop into the item binder. All right. One second real quick. I do want to show you guys I'm up to 12 elite badges. Uh, it's really 13 as soon as I can buy another one. I need like a 1,000 more coins for their price right now. But be able to pick one of those up. So let's go take a look at Bakari Rambo, wherever he is. Where is he? Uh, am I blind? Oh, there he is. Let's look at my blind. But he is a... He is zone D chem. He gives plus six to zone D. Uh, there are his stats. He had two tackles, two passive breakups, and two huge interceptions of Aaron Rodgers and the Bills uh, win over them. Uh, so this is the only card that I really wanted. Uh, even though I want the uh, keep to leave, this was the more reasonable card to get that I wanted. Uh, 70 strength, 91 agility, 90 speed, 95 excel. 74 range, well, I can't even talk, 74 awareness, 78 catching, which is nice. And the reason I wanted to get this card is because his name's awesome. Bakari Rambo is just an awesome name. And I liked him when he played at Georgia, so I like to pick up players that I like when they get cards that come out, especially when they're cheap like this one is. Uh, I think he, he was 7K on the auction, because I thought about selling him and then just buying him back later, but 7K, I was just like, I'll make like 2K off of that transaction, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, 89 jumping, uh, 74 juke move, Let's see it's come down here, 75 pursuit, 78 play rack, 70 man, 84 zone, uh, 90 injury, 94 stamina, 93 hit power is his big stat, and uh, so that's going to be it for him, I'm going to slot him in my lineup here, he's going to take the place of Brandon Merriweather, I think, even though I think Merriweather is better, I still... I think I want Bakari Rambo in there. So, oh, my Michael Griffin is an 88. I might try to sell him tonight uh, just because it's Monday and people might actually buy him. Let me throw Bakari Rambo in there, get him into the lineup. So, backups are Rambo and Clinton Dix for my secondary now. But let's go check out the prices of the hero cards and we'll check out their stats. So, we got Antonio Brown and JPP. I know this is a pretty long video already. But let's see. So team of the week. Start off with Antonio Brown. All right, load. Uh, he is a 90 to 94. And let's see. He hasn't had another card, has he? I don't think so. So let's take a look. Antonio... All right, there's one up. Thank God. Please don't sell. Please don't sell. All right, let's get into this quick. He gives plus 10 to short pass and long pass. Uh, 95 agility, 95 speed, 96 excel. Holy hell, 96 catching, 86 awareness. Uh, 91 jumping, 96 kick return, 97 elusiveness, 90 ball carrier vision, 90 spin moves, 97 juke move. This card's a beast. I want this card. I think I might, once I get my master, this may be my replacement for Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, 96 injury, 97 stamina, 92 spec catch, 97 catching traffic, 95 route running, and 91 release. Damn, this card's a beast, but not worth 400k. Uh, I would just get that 94 Megatron, but that's a pretty nice card. Um, I might have to pick that up uh, as soon as I get Mutt Master, or as soon as I get all my elites uh i don't even know what i'm trying to say all my elite badges i need for my master jason pierre paul jpp -P -P. all right i'm just gonna put jason p because obviously i spelled pierre there's not one up never mind what am i thinking i'm like I'm over here i'm like oh what am i thinking okay hold on let me pull them up on my phone and i can hopefully tell you the stats real quick like 
right. Uh, Madden, Ultimate Team. Let's see here. He's got a 97 finesse move, I can tell you that. All right, hurry up, load. All right. You're not going to give me, like, the stats, EA? All right, let me go to my headset real quick. I should have done this in advance. I just didn't think of it. I didn't think that... Th That's why I waited, because I thought there'd be one up by now. All right, here we go. Let me... Oh, my fingers. Can't... Click on JPP. All right. So just the back of his card stats are 88 speed, 84 awareness, 85 strength, 94 tackle, 68 power move, uh, 97 finesse move, 87 black shed, and 95 pursuit. So those are really the main stats for him. I'm assuming both of these cards will settle. I'm guessing the JPP will settle somewhere under 200k, and the Antonio Brown will be somewhere between 200 and 300k. Just in my estimation, just looking at the cards. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for hanging in for the long 16-minute uh, video. Uh, drop a like if you did and you stayed for the whole time. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.